I'm gonna teach you something. Scoreboards. You ever use them? I use them. Now this is kind of a niche application of scoreboards and effects, and it's a deleted scene from my Avid Adventures video coming out tomorrow. Why is it deleted? Because people don't like to learn things. You get 100,000 people to view a video, about five of them want to learn something. Unbelievable the TikTok brains these days. Well anyways, enjoy the video. Go learn something. But before we go up to the surface, I want to talk a little bit about how these geysers work, because the tech is actually remarkably simple. Well, I lied a little bit. Applying motion to players is a huge pain in the butt. We already explored this a ton in my Super Smash Bros video, where we came up with four different methods for double jump mechanics. And yes, you can use creepers with a negative explosion radius, but believe it or not, that doesn't work on Purper, Paper, or Spigot, or any of those modded type servers. So really, our only option for these geysers is to use the levitation effect. But this is far from perfect, and that's due to a limitation on all effects, which is that you can only apply them in intervals of seconds. Why is that a problem, you say? Well, let's say I want to get players up to that platform from the center of this geyser. There are two numbers we can play with, how long the effect is applied and the amplifier of levitation. So in this case, if we apply levitation for one second at a level of 15, that just about gets us up to the top. But if I'm honest, this isn't punchy enough. It feels like the geyser is gracefully raising me out of the ground and I, it's just, I, it's not good enough. So how do we make this punchier? Well, we change the amplifier to something cool like 70. The only problem with that is it launches me into the ceiling. So that means the perfect solution would be to apply an amplifier of 70 for a lot less time, but we can't do that. Or can we? Introducing scoreboards. Now, for those who don't know, scoreboards are basically one of the only ways that we can do math in Minecraft. Ah! math! It's not that complicated, I promise. Well, the first thing we need to do is create a scoreboard. In this case, I've created a scoreboard called Test Jumpy. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is create a command that sets the nearest player's Test Jumpy score to 4. Then, in a repeating command block, I'm going to give players Levitation 70 for 1 second if they have the Test Jumpy score of exactly 4. Immediately after that, I have a chain command block that removes the Levitation effect if the Test Jumpy score of any player is equal to one. Why not zero? Well, because that would remove the levitation effect from every player on the server, pretty much, which means levitation just doesn't work anymore across your whole server. And finally, the last command here will just remove one from the test jumpy score of every player, every single tick. So what this is doing is applying levitation 70 for only three ticks, which means we can still get the punchiness, but we don't hit our heads on the ceiling. What? You again? Yeah, I, th did you learn something? I hope you learned something. Did you check out my main channel? I hope you checked out my main channel. Do you like what you, okay, goodbye. Goodbye now, I goodbye.